claims he possibly committed impeachable offenses far beyond what Congress investigated. Chief Global Affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz sat down with Bolton for his first interview about the book, and it was explosive. Martha, good morning. Good morning, Michael. This is a starkly candid accounting of Bolton's 17 months in the White House, the famously hawkish former national security advisor now saying Trump should not be president. He was Donald Trump's longest-serving national security advisor, John Bolton, at President Trump's side for some of our country's most important national security decisions. And what Bolton saw left him deeply disturbed. A president who puts re-election above the country's interests, says Bolton, and makes decisions for personal gain, leading Bolton to a stunning conclusion. You described the president as erratic, foolish, behaved irrationally, bizarrely, you can't leave him alone for a minute. He saw conspiracies behind rocks and was stunningly uninformed. He couldn't tell the difference between his personal interests and the country's interests. I don't think he's fit for office. I, I don't think he has the competence to carry out the job. There really isn't any guiding principle uh, that I was able to discern other than uh, what's good for Donald Trump's reelection. You say that you were astonished by what you saw, a president for whom getting reelected was the only thing that mattered, even if it meant endangering or weakening the nation? Well, I think he was so focused on the reelection uh, that uh, longer term considerations uh, fell by the wayside. So if he thought he could get a photo opportunity with Kim Jong-un at the demilitarized zone in Korea, there was considerable emphasis on the photo opportunity and the press reaction to it, uh, and little or no focus on what such meetings did for the bargaining position of the United States. Bolton, in his new book, out June 23rd, and in our interview, saying Trump viewed the negotiations with the nuclear-armed North Korea as theater, asking how many people would be covering the event, and eager to present Kim Jong-un with a Trump autographed copy of Elton John's Rocket Man CD, the nickname that Trump had given Kim. Bolton saying that getting this CD to Kim remained a high priority for several months. Kim said Bolton, not the only foreign leader with whom Trump was trying to make deals. Bolton says Trump asked China's President Xi to buy U.S. soybeans and wheat to help Trump with votes from farm states pleading with Xi to ensure he'd win. And Russia's president? Bolton said Vladimir Putin couldn't wait to get in a room alone with Donald Trump. How would you describe Trump's relationship with Vladimir Putin? I think Putin thinks he can play him like a fiddle. Uh, I think Putin is uh, smart, tough. He plays a bad hand extremely well. I think he sees that uh, he's not faced with a serious adversary here. Uh, and he works on him, and he works on him, and he works on him. I don't think he's worried about Donald Trump. What happened to the dealmaker in those situations? Well, the president uh, may well be a superb dealmaker when it comes to Manhattan real estate, dealing with arms limitation treaties on strategic weapons, uh, dealing in many, many other uh, international uh, security issues are things far removed from his life experience. When you're dealing with somebody like Putin who has made his life understanding Russia's strategic position in the world uh, against Donald Trump, who doesn't enjoy reading about these issues or learning about them, uh, it's a very difficult position for America to be in. But Bolton has been heavily criticized himself for not testifying in the impeachment hearing last year, saying now it was because the focus was too narrow and politicized and that Congress should have investigated Trump for additional possible impeachable offenses, saying now he heard firsthand from Trump that security aid to Ukraine was directly tied to his request that Joe Biden and others be investigated by the Ukrainian president. Bolton said he was alarmed at what he described as obstruction of justice as a way of life, yet he still insists that his testimony would not have made a difference, something I press him on repeatedly in our interview airing this Sunday, Michael. Obviously, he has a strong words about the president, Martha, but you say the book also has some pretty strong words about the press, even stronger than usual. 
Yeah, we have heard the president say often that the press is the enemy of the people. But Bolton says Trump once said reporters should be thrown in prison to reveal sources, adding these people should be executed. They are scumbags. One of the many shocking excerpts from the book, Michael, which is why Bolton is not at all surprised Trump is trying to block its release. Michael. All right, Mark.